Hello friends, welcome to the show once again. Well, today I am going to explain you how exactly to do a, a simple moong dal curry with tomato. Well, now let us look into the ingredients which are required for this curry. Ingredients required for the moong dal curry Sufficient oil 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste 3 spoons of red chilli powder Cumin seeds and mustard seeds Sufficient dry red chilli 3 green chilli Sufficient salt 1 onion Sufficient coriander leaves and curry leaves 2 cups of tomatoes and 1 small bowl of semi-boiled moong dal okay? So now let us learn how exactly to do a moong dal curry. So friends, initially heat the pan. Well the stove has to be in the high flame. Heat the pan properly. Once the pan becomes hot, now drop the oil. Well, once the oil becomes hot, put the stove in the low flame. Now try to add the mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Okay. Allow it for the tempering. This is called tempering. Once they are popped up, now try to add the dry red chilli. Okay. Try to mix it in the oil. Okay. okay. Always try to put the stove in the low flame when you are tempering, when you are in the process of tempering. Okay. Now add the curry leaves. Then green chili. Okay. Now try to allow it for at least one minute. So that green chili changes into the brownish color. Okay. Now after completion of 1 minute, after the green chilli changes into the other color which is brown, now try to add the onions. Then mix it properly. Okay. Try to mix in such a way that every ingredient present in the pan should become oily. Okay. Now allow it for at least one or two minutes so that onions becomes soft and change into the brown color. Okay. So after completion of one or two minutes, once the onions become soft, now try to add the turmeric powder and ginger garlic paste. The turmeric powder is absolutely good for, for the medical purpose. I mean, it kills the germs if there are any in this pan okay so try to mix it properly so that every ingredient present in the pan should be integrated with each other okay everything should become oily now allow, allow it for at least one or two minutes once again so after completion of one or two minutes Try to mix it properly once again. Now try to add the tomatoes. And 
and also at the same time you have to add the sufficient salt now try to mix it slowly try to mix it in such a way that tomatoes should become oily and also at the same time the salt has to be deeply should move into the roots of every ingredient present in the pan okay so that every ingredient becomes tasty so allow for at least 5 to 6 minutes okay and keep it in the medium flame well in between once again try to mix the tomato properly okay so once again allow it for the remaining time so after completion of 5 to 6 minutes try to mix it properly once again try to keep it in a low flame once the tomato becomes nearly soft now try to add the semi boiled moong dal okay and also the red chili powder so add the moong dal and sufficient red chili powder okay now try to mix it very slowly when well, the thing is the order is very key here you shouldn't be adding the moong dal before the tomatoes okay the order is very key okay and the moong dal has to be semi boiled try to boil the moong dal in the water and try to separate the water from the moong dal okay once it is semi boiled okay now try to raise the flame to medium try to mix it properly okay so that everything becomes oily well this is not the dry curry well in between we got to add the water very slowly in between the curry okay now first of all try to allow it for at least 3 to 4 minutes in the medium flame okay or the small flame or low flame well in between once again try to mix the dal properly by putting the stove in the low flame okay try to mix it slowly okay so here you need to add the water very little water okay it should be added in the intervals okay so add the water do not add the full water at a time it should be added very slowly in the intervals okay try to mix it slowly okay allow the stove for the medium flame okay so again allow it for the remaining period of time so after completion of 5 to 6 minutes try to mix it properly once again okay you can see how nicely the moong dal has got into a shape which is absolutely fantastic now try to add the remaining water or you can say little more water okay so try to mix it very slowly now this is the final stage and try to allow it for at least 3 minutes okay nicely try to mix it properly You can see how beautiful it is looking. The moong dal nicely blended with the tomato 
and red chili a dry red chili okay so allow for at least 3 minutes so friends after completion of 3 minutes once again try to mix it very slowly okay i think we are done with the curry you can see how nicely it is in a shape in a beautiful shape along with the soup you can see nice gravy okay since it is not a dry curry you got to add the water okay now try to add the coriander leaves okay and mix it slowly mix it slowly and just allow it for at least half minute or a one minute okay so friends after completion of 1 minute you can see a hot and delicious moong dal with tomato is absolutely ready okay it looks absolutely fantastic so just turn off the stove and take it into the bowl very carefully so friends here is the hot and delicious moong dal curry with tomato which is absolutely ready okay so hope you have enjoyed how exactly to do a moong dal curry so meet you in the next video right now goodbye